This course is titled as Apparel Production Management. This is an advanced course covered in 6th semester for bachelors and 1st semester for masters. This course assumes that the student is familiar with subjects like production operation management and industrial engineering. This course consists of two parts, Apparel Production Management Part 1 and Apparel Production Management Part 2. These are the topics which will be covered in part one of apparel production management, introduction to production processes, key terminologies of production management, manufacturing processes, understanding capacity and batch setting and line balancing. Unit one, introduction to production processes. Welcome to the unit, introduction to production processes. In this unit, you will understand the basic concepts of apparel production management. This unit comprises of three modules and a final review section that invites you to reflect on what you have learned. By the end of this unit, student will be able to state the apparel market analysis, explain about basic production processes and strategies, describe the apparel production planning and control process. The first module reviews the challenges of apparel market. Let's begin with a brief analysis of Indian textile and apparel industry. India is the world's second largest producer of textiles and garments. Domestic textile and apparel industry in India is estimated to reach US dollar 100 billion by 217 and US dollar 141 billion by 2021 from US dollar 67 billion in 2014. The export has been the core feature of India's textile and apparel sector and its export is expected to increase to US dollar 82 billion by 2021 from US dollar 40 billion in 2014. India's share of the world's apparel export stands at 4.5 percentage. It is estimated that due to the increasing shift of apparel and textile production to Asian nations, and the deteriorating export competitiveness of China, this feature will grow to 8% by 2020, with a total exports value of 82 billion. This growth from 4.5 to 8% of world trade will open huge potential for Indian players. In 2007, the world apparel market was worth 345 billion US dollar and during the last decade, the market grew to an average of 8% per annum. India has the potential to become a rapidly growing market for better quality apparel, particularly brand name fashion goods. The country's sizable middle class of an estimated 1200 million, which is expected to double in the next 10 years, includes an estimated 40 million people who prefer brand name fabrics. India has the potential to benefit significantly from ongoing global trade liberalization in apparel, particularly now that the government of India had deregulated the apparel sector. The recent study of Indian apparel and textile industry concluded that India has a potential to double its current world market share in apparel during the next five years, provided apparel sector invests dollar 16 billion in the new production technology. In the inaugural session, Piyush Narang, principal consultant at Technopark Advisors said, global share of textile industry was 4.5% in 2011 and is expected to be 6% in 2016 and 8% in 2021. Globally, apparel industry is expected to grow at a CHR of 6%. He said EU and USA has still not recovered from 2008 crisis and the trend is likely to continue. China and India is an emerging hub in apparel industry. 
rising government focus and favorable policies to support the industry has led to the growth in the industry. In the 12th five-year plan, the government plans to provide budgetary support to textiles US dollar 4.25 billion against dollar 4.18 billion in 11th five-year plan. Free trade from Asian countries and proposed agreement with European Union will help to boost the exports. The parallel industry faces many challenges. This includes rising cost, raw material cost, and increase in volatility in raw material prices, labor unrest, poor working environment, and a supply chain problems. These are some of the challenges which can be solved by sincere efforts. This module discusses basic production processes. Introduction to production system. Production system is a system whose function is to convert a set of inputs into a set of desired outputs. Production system is depicted under with the help of a chart. Example of inputs of a company include land, building, machines, labor, capital management and raw material. Examples of outputs are goods and services. Production system is a framework within which production activities of an enterprise takes place. Production is a process of conversion through which inputs are converted into output. An appropriate designing of production system ensures the coordination of various production activities. There is no one single pattern of production system which is universally followed in all types of production system. It varies from one enterprise to another enterprise. Production management involves managerial decisions regarding design of a product and design of production system that is determination of production processes and production planning and control. Production control function is to produce products with minimum total cost in required planned delivery time frame. The efficiency of the production control performance is equals to precision of time and cost anticipation. Greater the deviation from the scheduled time and the cost figure, poorer is the production control performance. Manufacturing processes. The manufacturing process is a sequence of operations and processes designed to create a specific product. There are four types of basic production processes. These are intermittent production system, mass production, mass customization and continuous production process. We will now look into each of these. Intermittent production system. Production is performed on start and stop basis, such as for the manufacture of make to order products. Under this system, goods may be produced partly for inventory or stock and partly for customers orders. Example, components are made for inventory, but they are combined differently for different customers. Automobile plants printing, press, electrical goods, plants are example of this type of manufacturing system. This system can also be used for customized products. Mass production. Mass production is a way to make many products faster and cheaper. Mass production fueled the industrial revolution, made many products available cheaply, provided jobs for unskilled labor, came from agrarian to industrial society. Mass production uses many things to create products like system model, standardized paths, interchangeable paths, assembly line, unskilled labor, transportation and energy. Mass customization, designing, producing, delivering customized products to the customer at or near the cost and convenience of mass produced items is known as mass customization. Mass customization combines high production volume with high product variety. Elements of mass customization. The three elements of mass customization are modular product design, modular process design and agile supply networks. The figure shows mass production of a large and homogeneous market and mass customization is for fragmented and heterogeneous market. Advanced technologies are required to move forward mass customization. 
Continuous production processes A production process such as those used for chemical plants or refineries that run for a very long period without start and stop behavior associated with intermittent production. Key feature of these processes are enormous capital investment, high automated facilities, special purpose equipment, high volumes of production, little or no variation in type of outputs, high product quality. It is also known as mass flow production or assembly line production. It is used in companies like petrochemical refineries, soft drink, distilleries, fiber production, paper manufacturing, power plants, etc. Choice of manufacturing process depends on these factors, volume or variety, capacity of the plant, lead time or throughput time, flexibility and efficiency, WIP and skill availability. Volume or variety. When the volume is low and the variety is high, intermittent process is more suitable and with increase in volume and reduction in variety, continuous process becomes suitable. Capacity of the plant. Projected sales volume during forecasting is a key factor to make a choice of manufacturing process. In case of assembly line process, fixed costs are sustainably higher than variable cost. The reverse is true for modular processes. Lead time or throughput time. Lead time and level of competition certainly influences the choice of production process. Flexibility and efficiency. The manufacturing process needs to be flexible enough to adapt to the variety of products and the volume of production at lower cost. WIP and skill availability are the other factors which influence. Hence, it is very important for an entrepreneur to consider all these factors before taking a decision regarding the type of manufacturing process to be adopted. Sir. We will now start with the next module, Production Planning and Control. Production planning or control is to produce products with minimum total cost in the required plan delivery time frame. Production plan should anticipate the process of the production of any and every individual product from the receipt of raw material to the shipment of order. Production plan should also permit one to anticipate the itemized and total cost of production and delivering the product. Production control is composed of sequence of four activities, analyzing, forecasting, planning and controlling. Analyzing. Analyzing is a process of determining quality specifications of the product. It provides specifications of elements of production like raw material, equipment, tools, personnel that will yield the durability, utility and emotional appeal required for the garment. Quantitative production capacity of each operation, job or process is analyzed. It determines the anticipated load on production per unit time. Forecasting. Forecasting is a process of estimating the future sales volume, rate of sales and rate of delivery. Planning. Planning is an activity of organizing the sequence of communication and material processes. Scheduling is the second half of the planning activity. It adds when to organizing, what and where. Controlling. Controlling is an activity with which production manager inspects and corrects the execution of production plan. It is the action that must be taken to change the production plan whenever production is behind the planned schedule because of improper planning, unforeseen emergencies or unpredicted occurrences. The factors responsible for control are varied and repetitive character of operations, nature of manufacturing and magnitude of operation. As customer bases grow, there are more and more style variations within the product. Style variations also bring about situations where line should be loaded in hours rather than units. Every changing demand makes it more difficult for line to maintain their balance and meet schedules. It becomes apparent that a closer check on production becomes necessary. Today, production control should be responsible for scheduling, loading, controlling 
and reporting of balanced conditions, lines and the attainment of scheduled completion dates. Varied and repetitive character of operations. In general, variety of operations complicate the problem of planning and control, whereas repetitive operations, since they reduce the variety, tend to simplify the problem. There are all sorts of variant between two extremes. Some of the principal variants are manufacturing to order, which may or may not be repeated at regular interval, manufacturing to stock, where products are made up to the parts and processes are not optional, number of ultimate part in the product, number of different operations in each part and the extent to which processes are dependent, variation in the capacity of machine of different classes of work, degree of subassembly, lead time, nature of manufacturing, degree to which control is required depends on the type of manufacturing, custom manufacturing or stock manufacturing. Magnitude of operation. The scale of operation determines the control required. In small scale industries, control is more informal because it is more personal and direct. Sure. Production strategies. Make to order. Products and services are made to customer specification after an order has been received. Make to stock. Products and services are made in anticipation to the demand. Assemble to order. Products and services add options according to customer specifications. You have now come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit you have reviewed apparel market analysis, reviewed basic production processes and strategies and apparel production planning and control. Thank you.